I am Professor Venkatama Bhia, Assistant Professor of English, Department of Collegiate and Technical Education, Government of Karnataka. I am presently working at Government First Grade College, Gudipande. Friends, this is being the second session of learning language English. Let me tell you, today's topic is Jonathan Livingstone Seagull, learning of the novel. The novel, novella is written by Richard Bach. This is prescribed for the fourth semester BCom students of Bengaluru North University. Friends, before going to know the novella, let me ask you some questions. The first question is, do you follow the calling of your heart and make your own rules? The second question is, do you get special pleasure out of doing something well, even if it means only for yourself? The third question is, do you feel that there is more to this living than doing what everyone else does? Let me repeat the third question. Do you feel that there is more to this living than doing what everyone else does? This is more important. You have to introspect yourself. This is a question of brainstorming. I am sure you will think yourself and you will try to answer for these questions. Dear friend, after this, let me tell you, in this session, we are going to learn introduction to the author and also introduction to the text that is Jonathan Livingstone Segal, a novella. You will also know something about the meaning of the title Jonathan Livingstone Segal. You will even know the meaning of the fable how this Jonathan Livingston is a fable. Apart from this, you will also know the short summary of this novel. These things you are going to learn in this session. Yeah, let us begin now. The first thing I want to tell you, some things about the author. The author of this novel is Richard. Richard Bosch was a technical fighter pilot, a motion picture stunt pilot, and a flight instructor before becoming one of the world's best selling authors. Richard Bosch served in the United States Navy and the New Jersey Air National Guard's fighter wing. Richard David Botch was born on 23rd June 1936. Jonathan Livingstone Seagull is a novella written in the year 1970. He has written several books of fiction such as Gift of Wings in the year 1974, then Illusions then the adventure of a reluctant messiah in the year 1977 and non-fiction related to flying the bridge across forever and also once the majority uh, once so the majority of his books have been semi-autobiographical He has written those things using actual events from his life as well as fiction to illustrate his philosophy. Friends, friends after knowing some things about the author Richard Bach, 
Now let's move on to the text. The text is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. It is a novella written in the year 1970. Jonathan Livingstone Seagull is a story for people who follow their dreams and make their own rules. It is a story that has inspired people for decades. It is written by an American author Richard Bach and is a fable in novel form. For most seagulls, life consists of simply of eating and surviving. Flying is just a means of finding food. However, Jonathan Livingston Seagull is no ordinary bird. For him, flying is itself against the conventions of Seagull society. He seeks to find a higher purpose and become the best at doing what he loves. This is a fable about importance of neighborhood. Through the metaphor of flight, Jonathan Livingstone's story shows us that if we follow our dreams, we too can soar. Friends, Jonathan Livingstone as a book was rejected by several publishers before coming to the attention of Eleanor Freed in the year 1969. It was first published in book form in the year 1970 and by the end of 1972 over a million copies were in print. In the year 1972 and 73 the book tops the publisher's weekly list of best-selling novels in the United States. The fourth part of the book was written contemporaneously by Richard Bosch in the year 2013 and was first published as a complete edition in the year 2014. Friends, let's come to the title of the story, Jonathan Livingston Seeker. The title indicates the main character of the story which provides the pivot of the entire plot. The individual story of Jonathan Livingston Seagull is used as an example to discuss larger issues of individualism, social pressure, self-belief, traditions and progress. This story or the title also talks about the seagulls that have a strong community-based life which is based on a shared customs of beliefs which is much like human beings belong to a particular religion, sect, and ideology. The book is named after John H. Livingston, a VACO aircraft company just pilot. Now let's move on to the meaning of fable and how Jonathan Livingstone Seagull is a fable. A fable is a short story that conveys a moral and uses some key features. The most important feature of, key, of a fable is the moral of the story. Jonathan Livingston Seagull is often referred to as a fable. Fable often also have a rural outdoor setting. This is true of Jonathan Livingstone Seagull, which is set on a beautiful coast. It was morning and the new sun sparkled gold across the ripples of a gentle sea. 
those beautiful wordings in the novel. In Jonathan Livingstone Seagull, the moral is to go against the crowd and to follow your desire despite what others think. Typically, characters are animals in fables, whose characters, characteristics and behaviors are then used by the author to tell us something about human nature. For example, Jonathan's desire to fly rather than eat represents the human desire to be individuals. Now let's move on to the short summary of this novella, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Jonathan Livingston Seagull, as we know, it is about a seagull that is trying to learn about the life and flight and discourse about self-perfection. Jonathan Livingston Seagull is, a frustrate, is frustrated with the meaninglessness, conventionality of the seagull's life. He is bored by the daily bickerings for food and the limitations that define a seagull's life. Driven by a passion for flying, he pushes himself through daring mid-air deeds and experiments to learn that he can about flying. His passion to push boundaries lands him in conflict with his flock, who eventually banish him, living as an outcast. Jonathan's determination does not fail and continues in his efforts to fly higher. In his quest, he, he meets two radiant seagulls who take him to a higher plane of existence through performance of perfection of knowledge. Here, he meets other girls that love flying and teaches him the idea of unlimited freedom. Jonathan learns that forgiving is essential and reaches back to for his flag to teach them the newfound ideals. This book is distinguished motivational fable about seeking a higher purpose in life. Even circumstances seem inconvenient. Why not deserting his quest? Here in this novella, Jonathan Livingstone learns about the importance of love, respect, freedom and friends. Maybe in the following sessions, we will learn much more about this novella. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much again.